Hey everybody, this is JJ. And right now what I wanted to do is just kind of show you how to uh, take a tripod and a little bit of material, could be shelter material, could be whatever, um, anything that would be able to support your weight and make a camp chair. Now, the first thing you need to be able to do is just basically double the material over and then tie a square knot in the top of it and so that you have a big loop, all right? That's what we're looking for. And I take a stick and put in here with the square knot to kind of hold it tight. Um, and I've just lashed these together with Canadian Jam and you know these are solid enough to hold my weight and then I'll need one other stick that's a crossbar. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this I'm going to kind of loop it up over the top work the stick back behind there and the stick really isn't to hold anything necessarily although it does help somewhat it's mostly just so you can get the knot on tight. Then you're going to take the material and kind of spread it out like this. Actually, check that. And then you're going to take your crossbar. And this crossbar really isn't strong enough. It's almost a little bit rotten, so I should get another one. But it's what I've got available right now, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Hopefully it won't break on me on camera. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to spread this out much as I can right like that and now as you can see the crossbar is long enough to go across each side of the tripod and then put that over like that you kind of want to try to avoid any stobs I should I should cut those off spread it out good and wide and you kind of you can adjust the knot to your preference and height. So if you'd like it to be a little taller, you can shorten the knot. If you want it to be longer, you know, you can make tie the knot a little bit higher. All right, so that should be good there. And then what I want to do is just kind of grab the sides and the poles that you know are strong and then lower yourself down onto it just so you know that it'll hold you. Whoa. <laughs> Until the knot has settled up there. And, uh, and then you've got kind of a nice little hammock chair, camp chair, survival chair, whatever you want to call it. But it's pretty comfy. And as you can see, it's holding my weight just fine. Um, and another thing that you can do is, you know, if it's nice weather out or if you've got Gore-Tex or whatever the case may be, you don't necessarily have to build a shelter if you've got the right personal protection to keep you warm you got a fire right there um, you know and you wanted to stay out underneath the stars you could do that you know you get you a little log to prop your legs up on and you could just sleep here you know I mean it's plenty comfortable and you know, you'd be fine as long as you don't have any rain or anything like that coming down but, um, anyway guys so this is just a remake of an older video I did uh, it was a little bit shaky and kind of moving around and sound wasn't quite as good because it was windy out and everything. And So I just wanted to remake it for you. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys kind of a 360 view of it so you can see what this looks like kind of from different angles here before we go. Alright, so here's just a side view. And again, you know, the height of the, the apex of the tripod is about five and a half feet. And then you need something that's probably at least eight feet long, nine feet long would be probably the best as far as your material you double it over so it's about a four and a half foot loop and you can also if you get three pieces of wood that have forks in the ends of them you can work those together so that you don't even have to tie the tripod that is one possibility as well. And then you just hook the parachute cord or par material, whatever it is, up over those forks and hold it in place. Okay, guys, as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. If you've got any questions about how to build this, go ahead and stick them in the comments below. And I'd also be interested to know if you guys have any other types of comfort devices that you use when you're in camp, you know, to kind of make yourself a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more at home. As always, don't forget to live the six Ps, proper prior preparation.
been some poor performance. Stay safe, guys. Might take a little nap.